and he came thundering in for my first ball and uh, it was a bit of a blur, it was short into the ribs and I got a bit of a glove on it and it went down to fine leg and I raced up the wicket Touchdown, made out, I was looking for two, but really that was my <laughs> And I said, no, 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 I can't make it, Alex. I think it was Alex Stewart, the other, I can't make it. No, 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 I can't make it. And uh, as I was saying that to Alec, I, I just happened to look, uh, and Merv had turned around and was making his way back. And I just happened to catch Merv's eye. And he said to me, you don't know whether you're a West Indian or a curry muncher, do you? <laughs> now, I'll be honest with you, my first thought was, I was quite impressed he'd done his homework. <laughs> I was impressed. Uh, now look, I wasn't shy of getting involved with, you know, the bowler in those days, in my younger days. I wasn't shy, but I looked up at Merv, six foot six, skinhead, you know, sweat pouring off him, bowling at 90 miles an hour. I thought, mm, yeah, maybe, maybe not right now. Maybe not right now. I don't really want to get involved here. And I just happened to glance at the umpire, who was the rather rotund <coughs> David Shepherd from the West Country. Lovely man, fantastic umpire. And uh, I looked over at Shep, and I said, "Here, Shep, did you hear that?" And he said. I heard him rampers, <laughs> but I think he was talking to you. 